ringworm treatment and management. Now, how do you understand the term ringworm as a disease to your skin surfaces? Ringworm is an itchy contagious fungal infection that causes a ring-shaped pattern on your skin. So, many of you around the world, you are asking yourself how is ringworm treated? Several non prescription over the counter and prescription and fugal medication are available to treat ringworm. And fugal come in various forms like creams, gels, or powder. Your healthcare provider can treat more widespread ringworm with oral and fugal medication. Now, without wasting time, let's look at the and fugal creams and powders used to treat ringworm infection. Over the counter, and fugal creams, gels, or powders typically work well. So, the OTC products include clotrimazole, myconazole, tabinafine, tonaftet. So, if your symptoms get worse or don't clear after two weeks, you may need an oral prescription medication from your healthcare provider. So, when you visit your healthcare provider, may write you a prescription for oral and fugal medication if you have a ringworm on your scalp or on many parts of your body. Most medications are prescribed for between one month and three months. So, oral and fugal medication include fluconazole, bezofluvin, intraconazole, tabinafine. You may also use and fugal shampoo for treatment such as ketoconazole shampoo. It may stop scalp ringworm from spreading. It won't cure it, but it may help contain the infection. You also need to take a prescribed oral and fugal medication so that an affected family member may benefit from using the shampoo as well. However, some are asking what about home remedies for ringworm treatment? Home remedies like apple cider vinegar or tea tree have a little to no benefit. Apple cider vinegar may cause open sores or inflammation. Tea tree oil has antifungal and antimicrobial properties but its effects aren't well known. Our home may require treatment as well. The ringworm fungus can live on surfaces for months. Disinfectant sprays like Lysol or bleach can remove the fungus. Wash clothes, sheets and towels in hot water and detergent to prevent the ringworm from spreading. Now, what about steroid cream? Corticosteroid creams may help reduce inflammation, but they shouldn't be used to treat ringworm. In fact, they may worsen the infection. Also, I would like to inform you that there are mild cases of ringworm clear up within a few weeks. A more serious infection may require treatment for 6 to 12 weeks. Some other things you can do to promote healing are keep the affected area clean and dry. Apply and fugal lotions, creams, or ointments for the entire treatment period. Avoid touching the area and wash your hands before touching other areas of your body. When it comes in prevention of ringworm by yourself, as you know, ringworm drives in damp, warm areas. The fungus can live on towels, clothes, sheets, and household surfaces for months. So to prevent the ringworm, you need to change your socks and underwear daily or more frequently, showering immediately after conduct sports or exercise, wearing sandals or shower shoes or at the pool and in public locker rooms and showers, drying your skin thoroughly after showering, especially between your toes, avoid sharing towels, washcloths, sheets, combs and clothes. Disinfecting surfaces with bleach or sprays like Lysol. Treating pets for ringworm if they are infected. Washing hands thoroughly after contact with animals. Now, the last thing you need to note by yourself. If you suspect you or your child has a ringworm, don't use anti-itch creams containing corticosteroid. These creams weaken your skin's defenses and they can allow the infection to spread and cover large sections of skin. On rare occasion, the ringworm fungus goes deeper into your skin, making it even harder to treat. 
local ringworm can lead to a painful inflammation called keroin. With keroin, you may develop crusty, past feed sores, often with hair loss and scarring. Now, can ringworm come back? Yes, ringworm can come back. Ringworm will go away if you treat it appropriately. Follow your healthcare provider treatment plan until the infection clears completely. If you stop treatment or treatment ends too soon, the infection can come back. Another question is that how does ringworm affect pregnancy? Ringworm fungus won't affect your pregnancy. Still, you should check with your healthcare provider before using over-the-counter antifungal creams or powders or antifungal medication appear to be safe to take during pregnancy. Your pregnancy care provider can discuss potential risks and benefits with you.